Hi, I am Dani Rodriguez and this has been the highlights of my year as a Fellow of the National Youth Choir 2024. This will definitely will be a year to remember as it has been full of incredible experiences, getting to know the organisation, going behind the scenes, discovering new repertoire and resources, uh, working with the top conductors and singers in the UK, meeting the choirs and of course having a lot of fun. We started with a great showcase recorded at Voce Safe Studio in London when we met the previous cohort of fellows and composers and we recorded An Ode to the World by Christina Rakelian. It's on YouTube, I'll leave you the link below, so check it out. I had also the privilege to sing in the National Youth Chamber Choir, now known as the National Youth Voices. We perform at St. Martin's in the Fields in London for the London Handel Festival. A magnificent concert conducted by Sophie Janine and performing Handel's coronation anthems, plus a selection of great pieces by Ben Nabuto, NYC Young Composer 2022, and the world premiere of Exceeding Glad by Roderick Williams, who was there in the audience. We also had the opportunity to sing at the Royal Albert Hall with the orchestral Kawali Project and the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra. That was quite an experience singing Sophie music for the first time in my life and that was so much fun. Summer was the most exciting part of the year. We started with the 18 to 25 course in Uppingham. I had the chance to sing with this fantastic choir. I led some sectionals and warm-ups even made them sing a small Colombian calypso that I wrote and the members really enjoyed it. We recorded four gorgeous pieces from our young composers and Word by Joanna Marsh that was released in September. So go and listen to it, please, if you haven't. That piece will blow your mind. We finished the 18 to 25 course with a superb concert at Ely Cathedral, conducted by Nick Chalmers. We joined forces with the male non-binary choir for a great evening of singing. I even had the chance to conduct the choir, which was really memorable. It was during the rehearsal and just for two minutes, but don't tell anybody. I'm pretty sure that this year I'm going to have a new highlight for my life in the National Youth Choir. But the highlight of the year was, of course, singing at the proms. Back at the Royal Albert Hall, performing Beethoven's Ninth Symphony with the 1825 Choir, the BBC Singers and the Aurora Orchestra, completely off copy. Yes, I mean choir and orchestra with no music at all. I cannot describe the feeling of a completely sold out Albert Hall on their feet, buzzing after the performance. It was very hard to sing without tears in my eyes. I was feeling so lucky and grateful to be part of that once in a life experience, singing with these extraordinary young singers, top orchestra, and performing, as Nicholas Collin said at the end of the concert, in the best music festival in the world. It is available at BBC iPlayer, so go and have a look. The year has been full of all the great events, like spending a day with the BBC singers, with a conducting masterclass with them in the evening. It was great to wave my arms in front of them and receive their feedback. They were really friendly. Also, a conducting masterclass at the Royal Academy of Music with Patrick Russell, he was really inspirational and I really enjoyed his conducting approach. He was very good at spotting my mistakes. Can you just brace yourself a little bit? Oh. It's a slight Shakespearean attitude here. Oh, oh. I enjoy it. Same place. <laughs> yeah, that, that's great. Now that's a scary one. That's a scary one. <coughs> right, sing now. Now, um, the, the, take a breath, let me make a sound. Oh. Oh. Very good. 
Finally, I would like to thank everybody at the National Youth Choir for this incredible year. I had the time of my life. I am extremely grateful for all the experiences. I've learned so much and thanks for being part of one of the best years of my life.